So you go out after work, happy hour becomes happy night. You know what I'm saying? One drink becomes one too many. We'll show you how to get home safe coming up on The Needle. I'm Christy Johnson. Welcome to The Needle. Well, it's summer, which means all of us are going to be hitting patios, maybe having a few cocktails, right? Well, we all know you shouldn't drink and drive, you shouldn't drink and walk, and you definitely shouldn't drink and bike. Just be safe when it comes to drinking, okay? But there are some secrets to getting around this city if you can't drive home. So first off, here's the deal. If you take your car downtown and you're going to a bar and it's after 10 p.m., it used to be the case you had to get up at the crack of dawn to get your car by 8 o'clock before it got a ticket. Well, now the city will let you purchase a pre-ticket ahead of time after 10 p.m., which lets you pay for the first two hours of parking, which means you have till 10 a.m. to bribe your roommate to drive you back downtown to get your car. So what happens if you don't want to take your car downtown at all? You can take a car to go. You grab your little handy smartphone, get on the app, rent a car wherever you happen to find one, drive to the bar, and ditch the car. It's perfect. You can rent it for however long you need it or don't need it. Take a car to go to the bar and then take a cab home. Okay, speaking of cabs, we can always call a cab. Who put that in the script? Anyway, have you guys heard of Uber? It's a town car service. You order on your smartphone, on an app. They come pick you up. It goes straight to your credit card. You don't even have to tip them on the spot. And even better than that, they've just launched Uber X, which picks you up in a Prius instead of a town car, and it's cheaper. But what if you're looking for a different option? Have you guys heard of Lyft or Sidecar? Technically, these are ride-sharing services where someone signs up to be a driver, and then you sign up with your smartphone on the app saying, hey, I need rides places. You hook up with those drivers, you guys negotiate a price, it goes straight to your credit card that's hooked up to the app on your cell phone, and bada bing, bada boom, you've got a ride to your destination. They're two services of essentially the same thing, kind of like Bud Light and Coors Light, but really the big difference you're gonna notice, and I love this, is that Lyft has the big pink stashes on the front of the car. That's how you'll know the difference. Now with these two car services and so many more on their way, it's hard to figure out which one's the cheapest, right? Well, there's a new app from a Seattle-based startup called Red Ride. It takes all of these car services and compares how much they're gonna cost you. So you can get the cheapest ride. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for Red Ride. So there you have it. Now you guys can party late and still get home safe. And you know what I call that? A win-win, my friends. Hey, if you guys have a great show idea, find us on Twitter, hashtag K5Needle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Go out there, have fun, and don't forget to get home safe.